welcome back thank you for always stopping by i really do appreciate you thank you so much please if you haven't subscribed could you please kindly click the red subscribe button thank you so today i want to talk about something that a lot of us have been going through in the past some are still going through it dear god we ask you to take control we ask you to speak to us we ask you to remove the flesh and send your holy spirit for we know nothing we ask you lord to deliver us from every incubus and succubus for in jesus mighty name we pray amen so before we proceed read the book of isaiah 34 isaiah 34 14 to 16 isaiah 34 14 to 16 isaiah 34 14 to 16 today we'll be talking about one thing that has spiritually destroyed the, uh, the christendom one thing that has caused a lot of spiritual havoc you see in the world today which is incubus and succubus <laughs> husband and wife now these demons also affect men when you are up, when you are experiencing the operation of these demonic demons in your life they come in diverse way either to affect or destroy one's finance either to affect or destroy one's marriage either to affect or destroy one's um, fruitfulness, either to affect or destroy one's business, either to affect or destroy one's relationship, they block people that want to favor you. They, so there's nothing good that comes with these um, demonic entities. Now, how do we, how do you overcome these demonic entities these demonic entities mostly operate via sex meeting in their dream they come meet with you in your dream especially once they see anything good coming your way there's a testimony that is about to come your way the next thing is you experience meeting in the dream sometimes you go for deliverance prayers for years and this keep occurring but i am here to tell you today by the power in the name of god almighty and jesus christ that there is deliverance you can get delivered by the grace of god i overcame this several years ago through um prayer to god almighty and then using nature natural things created by god but today I'll be focusing on how you can overcome this as a Christian. Now, number one, meditation. Meditation on what? On the word of God. Prayers. I will tell us how the loopholes via which this um, entities come in but not in this video just not to make this video extra long stay tuned i will tell us so that you will sit down think and ask god check if there is any way you are faulted in such loopholes that makes them come come go and come back and all that renouncing them there is power in the spoken words when you have such experiences don't just keep quiet and start lamenting and start crying oh i am tired this 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 renounce them in the authority in the name of jesus renounce them tell them that whatever covenant you may have had with them is in the past that now you are a new creature in christ jesus another way is um loopholes what are the loopholes you have allowed sometimes these entities don't just get attracted to you there are some things you do observe the pattern 
some people have the spirit of discernment to know that oh it's anytime i do this anytime i commit this sin it opens a loophole for these entities to come in and torment me torment my life to come in and bring bad luck you understand my point what is that loophole you always leave for these entities to come in now one of the loopholes is you are sin yes this is one of their biggest loophole when you are married or you are married and then you keep committing and premarital having premarital knowledge of the opposite sex or the same sex it brings about them coming into the life of a person and begin to cause havoc begin to destroy things in the life of a human this is one of their biggest loopholes but we're still going to talk more on channels loopholes they come in but not in this um video these entities sometimes come with faces of people you know your loved ones and all that i have come i have had some people tell me oh i don't have i don't know the reason why i don't love my wife anymore she has not done anything to me oh in case you're wondering how do i meet these people i have another channel where i talk about natural uses of natural and things found in our kitchen so this is where i get some of this complaint oh i don't know i don't love him he he he, he, he does everything for me but i don't know why i just hate him sometimes it is the work of these spiritual entities now you're going to make your body yourself a fire our body is a temple of the holy spirit right you're going to make your body inconvenient for them not to dwell in through renouncing looking at the loophole declaration denouncing and acknowledging believing in jesus christ from today on please ask god for the grace and mercy to overcome this entity pray often especially at night don't just go to deliverance and you come back again and continue with that which opens the evil door for them to come in these entities will never allow you to see light even if they allow you to see light in one aspect maybe you may be doing well in one aspect but another very important aspect of your life they are going to attack it it could be maritally financially name it ask god for the grace and you will surely overcome by the grace of god thank you so much for watching i really do appreciate you